So, I just found a new side quest. <laughs> That's a nice way to greet him. Is everything alright? Too soft of a lad, trying to help that one. You'll know, be, be the death of you, Mark. <laughs> He's absolutely right. That sounds like another army thing. I'm not gonna do that yet. Well, we can definitely finish this one. Yeah. Those don't look tasty at all. Why, well, Freedom is this one, just like you asked. Will we be able to repair your tools now? <laughs> oh, right, it's not for eating. <laughs> I can come to your kingdom, just like promised. Alright, all right, that's grand. I hope your grandpa be plenty as easy as what you really are, lad. Of course he will fight. Fidu. Fidu. Fido. <laughs> See, since before long, I'm sure of it. Well, did you bring me my sunny lonely woo? It's a pretty stone, actually. He got it back! He got it back! Beautiful, wonderful boy! Mmm, yes! Shiny! So bright and shiny! Oh, yeah! It's time, my loves, it's time. Mmm, time at last, at long, long last. Time to make up the most marvelous makeup that's ever been made up! The luscious, luscious, luscious lips and bodily likes to call Gobsmear! Lipstick? What the flip? Look, yes? I don't like her. I don't like her. Back now, darling. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mmm, tee hee. Beautiful, yes. Pretty, pretty. Uh, yes? Um, yes, very pretty. <laughs> Little library card filled with all Bobby's love. Mm. You're free to browse my bookie wookies. Lucky, lucky you. Mm. Let's go up and take a look around. We need to find information that, that will help us with our kingdom. I'm going to hunt down some books about the nations of your world and their histories. All right, let's let you find anything interesting, won't you? Oh, we're actually playing as Roland. Cool. Oh, Tomnia. I'm not gonna read all that, seriously. What's important is it gets absorbed into Roland's mind. Yeah. Hi, lovely lady. King 
going down. Moth singers, okay. That makes a lot of sense. So that's like a recent history. It's kind of cool. Hey, Tanny. Blimey. These books were all made of stone. That should have made a mistake while writing one. He had to start all over again. I just imagine Tanny is not one for reading. And if all the books were stone, I wouldn't be either. Um, Nazca, interesting. That's where the White Witch lived. I don't think that was the same kingdom, though. Hydropolis. An ocean kingdom. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Don't call it Hydro City. That's that's copyrighted. The Hydropelago. And mer people live there. Ooh, all right. I like mer people. It's like there's some in One Piece. There's some in the game verse. Okay, now we got one in Gold Paul. What's the name of the dog race? That's what I want to know. Alright. Alright. I think, okay. I think that's about as much as I need to know for now. I can't believe there's already stuff in here about the coup over Ding Dong Dell. This place is more up to date than it looks. I know. Alright, cuz over the others figure out what to do next. <laughs> they finished shaking everything, Roland? Alright, let's go and find the others. Alright. I think I write up the history of pretty much every major nation in your world. This place sure has seen its fair share of wars, so I guess that's true of my world, too. Well, if this stuff is anything to go by, the only way to see it clear of all the fighting would be to have no contact whatsoever with any other country, period. Aye. Alright, ain't precisely the jolliest of conclusions, but it sounds about right to me. Hmm. Roland, I've been thinking. What? what uh, Roland, I've been thinking. What if we could unite the world? If our world were one big country? Well, there'd be no, no one to fight, would there? Yeah! Of course! That's an amazing idea! You're a genius! Well, except the aliens, but we'll worry about them later. Arr. Sure, unite the world, and there'd be no one left to fight. That would certainly put an end to war. But look at these books. Read what they're saying. Nobody in history has ever come close to doing what we're proposing. What you're proposing. <laughs> oh, yes they have, yes. Mm. Really? Ferdinand, mighty Ferdinand, yes. What a great treaty, Declaration of Interdependence. <laughs> Got them all to sign it. Great big countries, teeny weeny countries, all of them, yes. He was a hero, my hero, so handsome. <sighs> Amazing, so someone has done it before. Hmm? Well, I just read every history book in here, none of them so much as mentioned his name. Of course not, it's top secret. Only special people know. Mm. King Ferdinand. Alright everyone, let's head back home and decide what we're going to do next. We need to talk more about this banner of ours.
Okay, but before we leave, are there any more side quests that appeared? You know that, even in the first game, you make a little bit of progress, then side quests open up all over the place. <laughs> sort of. Well, it's hard to believe we haven't even begun to explore the other side of the ocean. And I say ocean instead of world just because it just seems like a very small world otherwise. Um... Yeah. Like, you're, like if you're making a fictional world, then it's gotta be a freaking huge fictional world. Like One Piece. Or Hunter x Hunter. I'd like to start talking things over right away, but you have kingly duties to attend to. Why don't you catch up with things here and come speak with me when you're done? Eh, that's not a bad idea. Just rule my nation so comfy like. Nice little farm now. We got a handful of citizens too, actually. Yeah, we really gotta do some side quests. Let's build up our kingdom. <laughs> Sleepy Ranch. Camp number one. Oh, Tanny! Oh, yes, let's put Tanny in the mining camp. Give her a job. <laughs> She's so cute. I don't have anyone here. Wow, anyone suitable here? Oh, yeah, our new guys. Everyday General Store. Okay. All around talent. Fresh fish market. What's 
also have a Wolverine. That looks cool. Hunting Lodge, wow. We can go pretty far. Is this how big our kingdom is going to be? I don't even know. I think we put in a good effort today, our little kingdom. Let's make some money back, why don't we? everybody up. Roland, wait. There are a few things I'd like to speak with you about first. Alright. Let's begin, shall we? I've gathered you all here to speak about our nation's banner. The cause we mean to unite under and to work toward together. Evan proposes that we create a country without war. I'd like to talk about the concrete measures we'll need to take in order for that to happen. First and foremost, we'll need to sign a treaty with the other major nations of the world, effectively forming a single united realm. Oh God, that's gonna become the new United States. We propose States. to call this treaty the Declaration of Interdependence taken the liberty of drawing up a preliminary version. Wow, there's a lot of detail on it. <laughs> the Declaration will be our banner, the cause for which we fight. I like it! Idiot be trying to mess things up in other countries, like he did in Goldpool. You think that's highly likely, yes. But we can't worry about that right now. All we can do is visit each nation in turn and try to convince them to sign up. You're really thinking of doing this? You realize it's a fool's errand now, don't you? What do you mean? Sure, this banner of yours is a noble one, and a fine banner for an up-and-coming kingdom to unite under. But you're about as likely to get all the nations of the world to sign your little pact as I am to grow a third blasted leg. Don't say that. We can't do this. Since the man who just strolled in from who knows where, don't need to be putting these daft ideas in their heads. What would you know about running a country, huh? Stop it! I don't know if we can do this. But it doesn't matter. I want to do it anyway. You what now? I've realized something. Now that we've been to all these places and met all these people, I don't just want to do it for Nella. I want to do it for myself, for all of us. I really do want to make a world where everyone can be happy. And I don't care if we might not succeed. That's no reason to give up. That's right. Of course, it won't be easy getting all of the countries of the world to sign our agreement. a chance of success. I have to try. And I'll 
will need all of your help to do it. <sighs> How can a man say no to such a speech, lad? I'm with you, Your Majesty. Come with me. Better start with an easy one first, huh? I reckon Gold Paul signed up, man. Yeah, provided Pugnacious isn't the grudge-bearing type. Good. Then it's decided. We will unify the world. Just as Ferdinand once did. That's an interesting piece of lore, though. Apparently, Ferdinand united the world, but now the world is no longer united, so something must have happened. So you're being forced to the square, I think. Yeah. Something must have happened to him that caused the world to be torn apart again. And there's a reason... And maybe there's a reason why the books don't mention him. Well, it's probably like the world government trying to hide the void century. Oh, maybe Ferdinand signed into the One Piece somehow. Whoop, whoop. Uh, one Piece does such a good job with world building. I cannot believe it. Master Nations, it has been a while. Greetings. Indeed it has. It's good to see you, Will. It hasn't been that long. I mean, like, we've gotten no other new town since this one. Like, we've been spending such a long time in this place. It's kind of annoying. You know, I cannot believe that he stole, that I allowed him to steal my king's bond. <sighs> Whether I was manipulated or not, so heavens was unforgivable. I, I lived in penury as a child. I... Wish only to build a country where no one would have to suffer as I did. But no matter how hard I tried, I could not eliminate poverty entirely. And the more apparent this became to me, the more unsolved I felt. I read somewhere that the majority of the taxes generated by Lady Luck are intended to help the poor. Is that true? It is. And in my weakness, I allowed her noble purpose to be corrupted. Enough about my woes. How may I help you? I can't ask you to join your kingdom with ours in the name of peace. United, we might stand a chance of defeating Dolor and, and of returning your king's bond to you. To, the, to this end, we, we have drawn up a treaty, the Declaration of Interdependence. I have to convince all the great nations of the world to sign Goodness. it. Goodness. <laughs> a couple will stand beside you in your endeavor. After all, there would be no gold pile were not for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Indeed. I was hope that Lady Luck agrees. Ugh. Oh, flippin' heck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, Tanny does a lot better the whole flippin' heck thing than frickin' Lofty does. But, but... Well, yes, but if you insist... Honestly, Gold Paul would be a lot better off if you just trashed this whole thing. I mean, freaking gambling for your life. Lady Luck, we ask you to guide us in the matter of this union. Please say yes, so we don't have to do another side quest. An odd number will show us that you deem it wise. Hmm. Alas, Lady Luck has agreed that the pact shall not be a... I clicked the button. But... Clicked the button by accident. <sighs> oh, come on. <laughs> Luckily for you, I disagree. <laughs> what? The world is in danger. We stand together or fall apart. You honor me. <laughs> Clopal must join you. You're such ran... Some of these are just random voice grunts. To be so kind as to join me in the Grand High Rollers Hall. Thank you. That's the Pugnacious. We are in your debt. I like Tanny's excited pose. She's just so adorable. Thank 
God. One thing I like about this guy, he's rational. Well, except for the being manipulated part. But that's besides the point. Uh, should be. Very well, let's delay no longer. There's some text. It's Hylian. Okay. <laughs> Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand as one single land. land. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, so there's... Five? Well, I guess we got two of them now. Okay. So we gotta go to three more nations. It's honestly, less than I was expecting, but okay. I suppose you'll be visiting the other nations in order to gain more sig signatories for the declaration. You will mess with Pinatius. I would suggest that you visit Hydropolis first. I'm all for that. Ah, but you'll need to cross the sea to do so. Is there a spell we could use to fly there or something? <laughs> you never see Sibius be rolling. It is such a smug system. It would be impossible to maintain it for long enough to complete the journey. We'll not be able to fly that far neither, lad. Ain't a wind I ever heard of can be relied upon to blow a man that sort of distance. Looks like we get there by boat or not at all, then. I'm up for a seafaring journey, mates. Indeed. Capstan upon hull would seem to be in order, so right there are a second and none. Okay. I guess we're getting ship rights for our crew then. <laughs> Send word of your coming. It looks like we're going to Capstan upon the hull. Sign some ship orders and see if we can't recruit them for our own kingdom. Yeah. And thank you, build us, build us an amazing boat so we can sail Hydropolis in style! Well, no. Like cracky, see? Seems we have a lot to be getting on with. I get to decide the figurehead, right? Sure you can, Tanny. Thank you, Master Pugnacious. I'll convince all the other nations to sign up to the declaration, I promise. And I get to be cut. Yes, yes, Tanny. I sincerely hope that you do, King Evan. May fortune smile upon you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep giving Tanny more quirks and personality, cause why not? And so Evan and his friends unfurled the Declaration of Interdependence, the banner under which they were trying to unite the world. Their first ally found, they set out to secure another, the Maritime Realm of Hydropolis. And Lady Luck was never used again, cause screw her. Declaration of Interdependence, eh? Very impressive. Oh, I bet that's Ferdinand. Yes, I have Roland to thank for that, and Bodley, of course. Don't forget your own role in all this. Pugnacious signed the agreement because of you, because he trusts you. I suppose so. By the way, are there any girls you like? <laughs> what? Where did that come from? Oh, I was just interested. I, I like everyone. All of my subjects. Hmm. Well, it's good to have someone you can trust. That's all. Someone you can be completely honest with. No matter what. The only girl just... he... <laughs> Something to bear in mind. See you soon. The only girl he knows oh. is Tanny. Uh. Goodbye. Well, Anella, but she's gone. But like Tanny is the only girl he spent a certain amount of time with, and you know she's in his age range. <laughs> 